Here we can see we have the logic symbol for a NOR gate. Here we can see we wrote down the truth table. And over here I've got a NOR gate with its inputs coupled. And I've got another copy here with the inputs coupled. If I put a zero here, that zero will appear at both inputs because this one will come down here. If we now look at the truth table, we can see that's the condition which gives us a one at the output there. If I now come over here and put a one, we can see we have a one at both inputs. This one comes down, which is this one here, which gives us a zero at the output. Consequently, when we have a zero, we get a one. And when we have a one, we get a zero. And we can quite simply see that this gives us the um, action or it acts like a not gate. So coupling the inputs to a two input nor gate gives us the same functionality as a not gate. Here we can see the schematic diagram for a half adder. Over here we have a truth table. These are the inputs here to the half adder, i.e. the A and B. And we can see that we have an output which is a sum, we have another output which is a carry. Now when we have a look at the column here, which is the column for the sum, it gives us this sum of min terms here, and this also gives us this one. Now it's important you look at a previous video here, I'm going to make the assumption you know how these were derived, these sum of min terms. So look at a previous video in the playlist. To build a half adder using only nor gates means we've got to get rid of all of the AND symbols from the sum of min terms that I'm writing down here. And we can see there's two. Now to achieve this, we put a NOT and another NOT above this, likewise here. We then use the bottom NOT to alter what's below using De Morgan's theorem. So the NOT A will become A, the AND will become OR, and the B will become NOT B, and that NOT stays. And then we use the same approach for the other one. So the A becomes not A, the AND becomes OR, and the not B becomes B, and that not stays across the top. And we bring that OR down. Now the OR symbol that we brought down, we must change into a NOR. So I'm just going to write this out again. So this is essentially a repeat of what we got above. Now what I've got to do, I've got to not it, and not it again. Now that doesn't affect the functionality. But what in fact it gives us, it gives us a NOR expression because we can see that above that OR symbol that I brought down, we've got a bar across. And now what we have, we have a NOR expression and we need to convert that to a logic circuit which we'll look at in a moment. What we now need to do is to look at the carry. Now with the carry, we can see that the carry is simply equal to A and B and we've got to get rid of that AND. Now to do that we double knot, so that doesn't change the functionality, and then we use the bottom knot here to alter what's below. So the A becomes not A, the M becomes O, and the B becomes not B, and the top bar stays along the top. And that's it, that's now a NOR expression. Let's just highlight this bit of the expression here, and let's build a circuit up here to represent this. Well we need variables a and b, and the first thing we can see is the b needs to go through a NOT gate, but of course we'll choose a NOR gate with its inputs coupled, and that will give me a NOT b. I then bring the a and the NOT b, and we take that through a NOR gate, and that will give me here a or NOT b, all knotted. We will now do something similar. We'll take this bit of the expression, we'll produce a circuit for that. Now this will mean we will have to take a tap off the A, bring that down, and that will have to be knotted to give us not A. So I'll put that through a two input NOR gate with its inputs coupled, and I'll have a not A here. I then take another tap off the B this time, and now we bring the B and the not A as the input to a two input NOR gate. And of course the output here will be not A or B, all knotted. Now we'll take this bit of the expression here, i.e. all of it except the top knot. Now this will be given by taking these two outputs as an input to a two input NOR gate. And we can see that the output from this gate will be its input, which is this input here, which will goes to there, and this input, which goes to here. And of course that will now appear in the output, as you can see here. 
and then of course this will awe them both together and that will knot them so if we look very closely now we can see that we have this expression which is quite clearly the same as the one we've highlighted here of course we now need to consider the top knot well that's quite easy all we do now we take the output from this gate and we put it as an input to a NOR gate with its inputs coupled in other words a NOT gate has the same functionality so this now appears here in exactly the same form but with an extra NOT above as you can see myself writing out here that's what we had at the input and of course this is a NOT gate so we put a bar across the top now what we need to do now is to look at this and we can see quite clearly it's the same as that. So what we've done, we've just built the sum part using NOR gates. Now of course we've got to build the circuit for this here, for the carry bit. Now that simply involves us taking the tap off the NOT A and the tap off the NOT B and we put that through a two input NOR gate which will take the not A and the not B at the input, or them and then not them. And if we look we can see that that in fact is exactly the same as that. So that's the carry bit of the circuit done. So we can see that here we have the sum output and here we have the carry output. Therefore we've built a half adder using only NOR gates.